So hello everybody and welcome to another Power Query video. Into this Power Query video, I'm going to show you how you can put all change type steps together in one, because you probably realize that when you are changing the field type using regional settings, it just creates a new step. And I have wondered for the longest time why, and now by putting it together, I realize why. So I'm going to show you when you can do it and how you can do it and when you shouldn't do it. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I have here some sample data from the Northwind data set and I have taken out some or some dates, ship address and then some fake numbers <laughs> just to, to show you how this thing works. So here's the thing. If you want to change these types, you want to put this as a date. And if you just put it as a date because my Power BI is set with American regional settings. It gives you an error. So I have actually, uh, I have to go here using local and change it with the format that matches the date, which is not the United States. It has to be the year at the end. So it's day, month, year. And I've learned that the first one this one is that type. So you go there and then it creates one step in there. And then if you don't this at the same time, you know, sometimes when you're changing types, you can change in different steps and they just Power BI puts the code together. It doesn't happen with regional settings. And I'll show you, I'll tell you why, you, but you'll see why. So again, you're going to do it directly. You have to go here using local It's going to be the same local as the one up there. Put it as date, and then here put again the format that that works that has year at the end, so day, month, year. Okay. Now we have both. As you can see, every time you use regional settings, changing step is going to create a new step. So if you want to have both done at the same time, pick both at the same time because they will create a new step always. If you forgot to do it, you can always copy this part, go to the previous step and then add it in here. So you can modify the code yourself. You can go in there, comma, put that one and then it will do both and then you can remove that one. Now, let's say that I want to change these to a number and these to a decimal number. You can see that it creates a new step and I, you know, sometimes I just want to have one change step only. So I've been looking at the code to say, okay, how can you put them together? It's actually quite easy to put them together. You can do exactly the same thing as I did before. You just copy that part, go to the previous step and then paste it in there. And then you see it changes as you want it. And then you're done. You have all change types in one step, but, and this is a big, but depending on what your regional settings are for the entire data set, this is a good thing or a bad thing. Because if we look again, let me show you. If we go in here using local, what this does is it change all the date required date ID and the sales to that regional settings that you set up. And if we go up here, you can see for text is no problem, but you can see for numbers that it has a comma and a, and a dot, right? So this format will be applied to numbers also. So here I have sales with a comma. You see the first line it is the, this is the decimal point, but if for whatever reason the sales, let's, let me change that. We'll have the, another format. This is for example, the European, quite common European um, format where you have the comma for decimals. So you put it there and then you go in there because comma, for this type of regional setting, it is a thousand comma, it will ignore it. You see there? So you have to be very careful and to make sure that your entire data set can be set to that specific regional setting. Otherwise you will get into trouble. And this is the reason why Power Query separates the steps. So for one step, you can do the text, the mm -mm -mm, and for the other step, you can actually set like dates in a regional setting format. So this is a way to do it in one step. Be careful if you do it and make sure that everything applies for that regional setting that you've chosen. Otherwise you will get into trouble. So 
yeah, this is all for today. I'll see you again on Wednesday with another Power BI video. I'm not sure what it will be, but uh, in the meantime, take care and bye bye.